According to the National Eye Institute, by 2030, more than 4 million Americans are projected to have some form of low vision. Reporter Kamini Amano has been finding out how early detection and rehabilitation can help people with low vision live full and healthy lives in today's Your Health First. And it is somewhere where I've lived my whole life. Um, you're not totally blind and you're not totally sighted. And so we find ourselves in kind of this limbo land between, um, between those two worlds. Low vision is when you still have visual impairment despite standard eye disorder treatments like glasses, medicines, or surgery. Zelda Gebhard has low vision. Her condition is genetic. But low vision could be caused by any number of reasons. Macular degeneration is probably the most prevalent in the United States. Uh, cataracts are another condition which uh, are quite common, uh, like glaucoma. Um, there's a series of what are called retinal diseases, which are uh, diseases which affect the tissues inside the eye. Other conditions could put some races at higher risk of low vision. In North Dakota, we have a high number of people who are of Scandinavian uh, heritage. Um, those folks uh, seem to be predisposed to diabetes, and that's one of the uh, conditions which can cause visual impairment. Our Native American population are also predisposed oftentimes to uh, diabetes and some of the effects on vision due to diabetes. Um, and uh, African Americans, uh, people who are black, uh, there's a higher prevalence rate of glaucoma. Glaucoma increases pressure within the eye and could cause damage to its tissues. Gebhard says life could get difficult for people who have low vision. Um, there is a very high percentage of individuals with vision loss who are unemployed, and and that's really sad because. Um, you know, the, the ability to see does not decrease the ability to, to contribute. Gebhardt says more employers need to understand that. Organizations like the federally funded Vocational Rehabilitation Services and the North Dakota Vision Services can help people with low vision live a normal life as well as the use of technology. It could be a simple magnifier. Or in this case, this is a video magnifier. This one happens to be portable. And to be honest with you, uh, there are apps. The older a person gets, the higher the chances of getting a condition that could lead to low vision. Depending on the type of condition, it could lead to total loss of sight if left unchecked. Reporting in Minot for KX News, I'm Kemeni Amano. The National Eye Institute advises people 40 and above to undergo comprehensive eye checks every year. If you think you may be experiencing low vision, speak to your health professional. Stay tuned. Coming up next.